What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I actually wanted to bring you guys a deck that I've been playing for a while and I actually very much enjoy this deck. I think it's really good in today's format. It's getting kind of popular right now and the deck that I'm talking about is Centurion. This deck is actually really really good in today's format. It plays around Shifter, plays around Thoros really well, plays around uh, Impulses pretty well as well. So in general this has a lot of really good matchups in today's format and it doesn't lose to the cards that kind of break the meta right now and uh so with that being said i want to show you guys my list for centurion bestial i think this deck is really really powerful it has good matchups into everything and uh, like i said it doesn't lose too much but if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more so with that being said let's get right into the deck profile we are going to be starting off here with three primera and three Trudea. These are kind of like your one card starters and you need to be playing these at max like levels because this is how you start all your combos. Uh, the nice thing about this deck is it has a lot of room for non-engine because of these one card combos so you have to be maxing out on them. Then we're playing one Atri and one Gargoyle. Gargoyle is an insane card but Atri is really good because this kind of gives you a bunch of draws actually which is really nice and when you're able to draw a bunch of cards the really nice thing about that is you draw into a lot of your non-engine right so that's why you like to play this. Gargoyle as well is a really good extender and then of course we're playing three stand up a one terraforming. This is kind of a 1.5 card combo so it's not a one card combo you have to discard for this but it is a 1.5 card combo it starts your combos as well so you really want to get to your wake up and then three emblema oath as well this card is actually a lot better now because it's searchable um and it being searchable is absolutely insane so that's why i like playing the three emblema it's searchable off of the new card over here which is your premiere primus and it just helps you play around a lot of things and extend your plays a lot further right so emblema is really really good cards are flying everywhere another thing about emblema that's actually really good is ghost ogre is picking up uh in popularity right now and so centurion stand up centurion at least can get ghost ogre and that can kind of suck now the really nice thing about stand up and emblema is let's say you go stand up effect they go ghost ogre and you chain emblema what happens is emblema puts a monster in your spell and trap zone or a monster card in your spell and trap zone and then it'll essentially protect the stand up because stand up says if you control a monster card uh this will stay alive like it can't be destroyed by card effects and so that's very specific ruling because it does doesn't say a monster it says a monster card and even if this is in a spell or trap card zone it's still a monster card right it's a it's acting as a trap but it's a monster card not a monster at that moment so i hope that ruling makes sense so that's why emblem is really good with these because it protects against the ghost ogre and whatnot and then uh for the one ofs we're just playing one wake up one bonds uh and then two failings actually i uh, i was playing one for a long time but i'm gonna be honest big shout out to pack he was playing two and I want to I want to give him credit for this one because I think two failings makes a lot of sense. Being able to pitch one and then being able to have one on field as well is really good. So uh, failings is a really good disruption in a lot of different ways. So I do like playing two. Honestly, since I've been playing two, I've been really enjoying it. So big shout out Pack. That was completely his idea, and I really really like it. So um, yeah, that's it really for the Centurion stuff over here. Very minimal engine, and the reason it's minimal is because like I said, you want to play a lot of non engine. Uh, and now it, the nice thing is you can play a pure build with just these cards. I like playing the Bestial build, so I'm playing three Lubelion, one Magna, one Druis, and one Baldrake, as well as one uh, Regained. The reason I like playing this engine is not only is Lubelion kind of like an extender for you, it's a level eight body for you. Bestials themselves are kind of good hand traps in general as well. So even though you're playing less hand traps with the Lubelion, these kind of act as hand traps for you, which is really nice. And then Regained is really good because you get to draw a bunch of cards. And again, drawing cards with your Atree, with your Regained, with your Legatia, it adds up. Because if you're drawing two to three cards per turn, like that's going to be very, very good because you're playing a lot of non engines. So you're playing three Ash, three Imperm, two Valor, uh, two Droll, two Mourner, and two of the Ghost Ogre. So you can see we're playing a lot of non-engine. The reason we're playing two ofs, and I know two ofs doesn't make a lot of sense, but the reason we're playing two ofs is because we're drawing a bunch of cards, like I said. So I don't want to draw into like multiples of like the hard ones per turn ones. Like multiple Droll doesn't really do anything. Multiple Veiler is not bad because Veiler is not a once per turn. But in general, like I want to draw a variation of these hand traps. Ash and Imperm, of course, are at three because these are just the most generic and the best ones. But I really like these cards and these ratios because uh, Droll, I mean, in this format is really insane if you're able to resolve this. And and then uh, regained a tree. Um, there's so many different ways to draw cards in this deck with uh, with your Legisha as well, and being able to see these is really good. So it's a 40 card main deck on the dot. I really really like this main deck. I think it's super super consistent. These cards right here, even if I'm, you're not playing the Bestial package, if I'm being 100% honest with you, even if you cut this package, I would still actually play these as hand traps in today's format because they're just generally really good. They're good into Ubel. They're good into the White Forest matchup. They're good into any Fiendsmith matchup you see. Like it doesn't matter what deck is, as long as you're playing Fiendsmith. Or like a deck is playing Fiendsmith essentially these are really good so in general like I really like these as hand traps but you can cut these for more non-engine if you wanted to I just think the extender with Lubelion is really really good and then of course the draws with this are really good as well so yeah that's why that's that's it for the main deck it's a 40 card main deck I wouldn't change that up at all I think legit I actually think it's a perfect main deck for the side deck though or the extra deck I should say we're playing two Legatia as well as one Auxilla. Auxilla is insane so I actually didn't know this until I started playing the deck Auxilla 
spring back from the banish zone is insane because that's kind of how you don't lose a shifter if you're able to end on auxilla even if your monsters kind of go to the banish pile you can still get it back with your auxilla right so that's really good here and then we're playing two of the premier primus i really like premier primus this card is an insane card helping you get to your emblem oath it's a level eight tuner which is really nice for you as well so i really really like the pre premier i like to play two uh, just because you don't want to lose to um so it getting ripped somehow right you can actually make two sometimes in game which is really nice you don't really as often but i don't want to get it ripped by a kashira unicorn which is popular in like every deck right now right so these are really good uh one crimson dragon i'm playing two of the blazar and one supernova as our targets blazar is really good because there is a combo line now where essentially you actually go into blazer turn one like on your turn and then on your opponent's turn you can actually funny enough make a second blazar or make a supernova if you guys wanted to so uh, i like playing two of this and then one of this playing two of this is also really good because you don't want it to get sniped either so that's why i like playing this so makes sense these are the crimson dragon targets one this batter of course this batter is a lot better now with the bestials as well uh so this batter just generically a good card chaos angel another good card that uh the bestials help you make and again it's really important like these are hand traps for you they're extenders for you they're um like this also as you add a card which is really good lubelions are good for you and then this also gives you access to chaos angel and chaos angel is a really good card turn three like when you're making this banish a card you can kind of go for game and just protect yourself as well so chaos angel absolutely insane then we're playing one scarlight this is for kind of time doesn't come up too often but you're just playing it for time one of this this is good because you can make it off of your uh, i think it's your primera that's a spellcaster and so when you're making this off your primera it sets it up a lot of plays for you but then also helps you make sp for a banish and then ip here as well some uh, boards that you're going to end on that i find that i end on is like ip plus auxilla plus like one of these you can also go ip plus like legatia plus one of these so either way ip is just a really good card that you can end on as well kind of helps you make that sp on your opponent's turn for another disruption so that's it for the extra deck again the extra deck i, I it's it's funny because usually i have suggestions for um things i would change or things you can play or things you like can adjust for the main deck and the extra deck i don't think there's much to change i think it's so I don't want to say the word standard, but it's just, I think it's very, very powerful. And it's hard to change things up because the ratios just make a lot of sense, right? Now, where you can change things up, though, is the side deck. Because my side deck, although that uh, I'm, I'm actually, it's not been, it's not, it hasn't been bad for me, but um, my side deck is kind of scuffed. And again, Sky's side deck is always going to be up to personal preference, but I don't have some cards that I otherwise would be playing. I do like playing Phantasme, though. The reason I play Phantasme is one, it's searchable off Magnuma if you need it to be, but two, this also helps you draw cards, gets you into non-engine, or gets you two engine if you are going second, so that's really good. Three of the uh, Retaliating Seed, this card is really good in today's format, just against all the Azamina stuff. Two Nibiru, just another card that I'm not maining, I decided to side it. The reason I decided to side it is because I just don't actually think it's that good, this format. It's not good into Bell because they make uh, Phantom, it's not good into any of the Azamina decks, so I actually don't like seeing this card. This is only ever good if you see this with Imperm, but I don't really want to rely on a two card combo, right? So so this kind of comes in against a lot of the rogue decks here. And I still think it's really good. We're playing one Harpies and two Raigeki. I know, it sounds funny, but why not? Board Breakers are just good this format. It's like, I feel like people don't, don't play them because they think it's kind of like, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's not uh, big brain enough, but then it's actually massive brain because if you just side in Raigekis and you're like, oh cool, you made a board, Raigeki, like you're, this is insane. I actually really like it. I don't know. Maybe it's a Tempai player in me, but I, I really like Breakers. Uh, but then for going first, I'm playing Judgment and Anti-Spell. Again, these are just really good going first cards. You don't lose this card. It's really good in today's format. But I will say, this is where you can change things up. Deck Lockdown is a really good card. I just don't have them. Actually, I do, but I just can't find mine anywhere. So I wasn't playing them. There's just a bunch of really good cards that you can play here, but I really like Nib in the side. I wouldn't recommend maining this. This is really good to help you draw cards. But, oh, I will say this too. I also don't have Furos or Fualos or however you say that card. If you have that, put that in your side. Again, I wouldn't recommend maining it, even though it's, like, it's not horrible to main. I actually think it's better in the side. So um, yeah. Also, the reason I think it's better for the side, specifically for this deck, is because you draw so many cards that you don't want to draw into it once you kind of set up a board because it's kind of dead for you. That's why I think it's better in the side in this deck specifically. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys can side those, deck lockdowns, a bunch of other things. But that's it for the deck. Um, 40 cards in the main, 15-15, you know how it is. Thank you guys all for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I think Centurion is a really sleeper pick in today's format. I think it's a very, very good deck. And then on top of that, I think the deck has a lot of potential moving forward as well, right? The deck is mid-range, kind of like my pay style, which I like. You can play a lot of non-engine, which I like. And then just very, very consistent with the one card combo. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Cameraman, thank you for being the best cameraman on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.
Get up, get up. We want you to get on your feet.